A thesis presented to the Department of Architecture, School of Engineering and Architecture. St. Louis University Baguio City. Submitted through, Architect Daniel E. Mendoza. Presented and proposed by, Abram Josh Ordunia Maglaki. A research entitled, An Application of Queuing Theory, A Centralized Green Trunkline Jeepney Terminal in Baghue City. The site for the proposed Centralized Green Trunkline Jeepney Terminal, is located within the vicinity of Burnham Park. It has approximately a total lot area of 14,000 square meters. The proposal is an indirect solution to the need of parking spaces in Baghue City. Since the proposal encourages people to commute, rather than driving their own private vehicles. Not only would this decrease the number of vehicles in the streets of Baghue City, but it would also significantly reduce carbon emissions. The proposal would be beneficial to students from Baguio City National High School and the University of the Cordilleras, since it has provided convenient access to essential amenities such as a food court and a bookstore. The queuing theory was used to determine possible architectural solutions in the centralization of the 34 lines of the southbound jeepneys. With the aid of its mathematical models, results show that a minimum total of 75 jeepney loading slots would have to be proportionately distributed to the 34 jeepney lines. This would ensure efficient public transport for the next 10 years. Terminal 1 contain jeepney lines which exit through Kisad Road. A centralized raised island waiting area which is accessed from the second floor further ensures the separation of vehicular and pedestrian paths. The provision of a ramp, stairs, and an escalator, are used to divert pedestrians to the common waiting area and ticketing machines, located at the second floor. Funds which would finance the building operation cost of this public facility would primarily rely on the rentable retail and food stalls, located at the second floor. The proposal supports the national government's plan for the modernization of the Philippine jeepneys. The design employs a cashless system, where passengers would purchase a credit-loaded card, which would be tapped in a ticketing machine for efficient booking of transport. Technological advancements were incorporated to the design for the systemization of the public transport system. The terminal was also designed to accommodate the modern electrical jeepneys, which were equipped with GPS, Wi-Fi, and CCTV cameras. A command center is connected to each jeepney, so operators can monitor their location. The terminal supermarket would ensure convenient access to essential products that commuters would want to purchase.
A bookstore would be accessible for the students from Baguio City National High School and the University of the Cordilleras. The food court is an area where passengers could eat while waiting for their jeepney to arrive. Multiple television screens allow the passengers to monitor the jeepney currently loading at their designated terminal. The form of the balconies were inspired from the curvilinear form of the rice terraces. It showcases an unobstructed view of Baguio Athletic Bowl. Terminal 2 which is located at the third floor is enclosed by glass walls. This is to protect commuters from harsh weather but still allow natural light to flood the interior. The terminal design had complied with the LTFRB's transport terminal guidelines by providing adequate comfortable benches, sufficient shade, appropriate visible signages, and the insurance of passenger security. In order to administer faster entry and exit, the layout of the jeepney loading bays are oriented in a 45-degree angle. Terminal 2 contain jeepney lines that utilize Governor Pack Road as their exit route. This was made possible and easier by a connecting vehicular flyover towards Upper Harrison Road. Skylight allows natural lighting to illuminate the jeepney terminal, thus reducing energy consumption. The centralization of all 34 jeepney lines, and the incorporation of technological advancement and wayfinding principles to the terminal design, would significantly contribute to the systemization of the green trunkline jeepney terminal. Public transportation moves us all towards a more sustainable future.